Welcome to YouTube Excel Magic Trick number 91. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook Excel Magic Tricks 91 to 99. Hey, trick number 91, we want to talk about the forecast function. Hey, here we have some X values right here, hours studying for a test, and some Y values, the score on the final test. And we would like to use this past data to predict for the future. Hey, if we study five hours, what, what kind of score can we expect? Now, there's many ways to do this. If you look over here, there's the slope function. They calculate the slope. And then there's the intercept function. And then you type in an x, and you create an equation like that. So that's a bunch of steps, multiple steps. But if your goal is just to predict, then why not use the forecast function equals forecast. It just needs to know the x. Let's blow this up. Ooh, jumping all around. It just needs to know the x. The x value, oh, that's this, one cell to my left, comma, the known y's. Here's our scores from past data. Click in the top cell, control shift down arrow, F4, comma, and then it needs the known x's. I click in the top cell, control shift down arrow, F4 to lock it. If you can very carefully point to the screen tip, you can pull it out of the way, and then close parentheses and control enter. Double click and send it down very quickly. You have uh, skipped a bunch of steps using the forecast function. In essence, did a, a bunch of linear algebra and took an X and predicted. All right, we'll see you next Excel trick.